Slack again. I races never. Well, Emmanuel lies. Last year, yeah. Astafara. Another video with the priest. <coughs> Luck again. The industry is on racism. Here's a quote from the Honorable Prophet Marcus Garvey. Marcus said, I'm not a racist. Just race conscious. But in my case, as the priest, I don't have a choice. Just pardon to the whole world. I don't have a choice if I want to be racist or not. I can't be racist. What? I can't be racist. Why? <laughs> it's true, my lineage, you see. My father is a mixture of European, you know. It's a lineage of one of the slave masters. You know, extend straight back to Europe. The Burroughs. You know, the Burroughs family is from Europe. You know. And he was one of the slave masters that, you know, participated, you know, in the Western, you know, affairs at them times, you know, 17, 18, 19th century and then now. You know, you'll see the name remains, you know, in the Western world, the Burroughs family. At the same time, my immediate father, he does not only have a European lineage, you know, he also has an Arawak Indian lineage. It is said, you know, that his, his people is from this Western region, you know, the, um, what they call the Caribbean. You know, and also it's said that, you know, it's a bit of African, you know, in his blood, you know, also. Now, on my mother's side, you know, I know of just black African. Just black African. Maybe one or two people, you know, throughout the family tree that you know, may have had encounter with the white men, you know, but in my mother's side of the family, you know, throughout most of the branches of the trees, it's just black African. So, I and I as a person, I cannot be racist, you know, it's like me tearing my own self apart. You know, if I love the white man more than I love the black man, you know, I still tear myself apart because a part of me black. You know, and if I tear down, you know, the black man and praise the white man, you know, then I still tear myself down. Any way I look at it, you see? So I have to bring a justice to everybody. <laughs> yeah, I give everybody a justice. And how do I do that? My mama's lineage, Africans, black African, they from Africa. You see? Yeah, so all Africans in the world have a good Africa. My white side of my family, the boroughs and all these European bloodline, you know, they belong in Europe. So you have to go to Europe. The Awak. Caribbean part I family, you know, the Western world is for them. So I don't see racism, I just see justice. Everybody go where they belong. Now I and I, where do I go? Well, because of my, the pigmentation of my skin, I'm automatically rejected from the white race. Because it's the white race that is actually racist. Y'all understand? Yeah, it's that side of my family, the white people, that have to naturally be racist. They have to do that. And not so much racist, but race conscious. You see the difference with my white side of my family, the Europeans, if they have an encounter with any other race, it destroys the white pigmentation. You see, it removes that white pigmentation, 
the the generation after that becomes you see so like my father father you know back to the white man the day he messed with a black woman yeah he kind of destroyed his white lineage yeah because it can't come back white no more yeah he already gone black you can't turn him back everybody know that black again you know so now all the generation, I could sleep with as much white woman as I want. I could have as much children as I want for white woman. My children can have children for white women. For years, for centuries. But the children will always still come out black. Yeah. You know, don't care. If you see a black man sleep with a white woman and the children still white, pure white, blue, I die in each other. No curl, no kink. DNA. Go to multiple source DNA, just not one, because she might be working with him. <laughs> the, the actual one who taken the DNA test, that may be his baby. So <laughs> you want to go to multiple people and check to see if this white, pure, blue-eyed baby is yours. And use a black man? Impossible. Genetically, it can't happen. Yeah, because, you know, the carbon present, you see, in the DNA, it's going to always show. It's going to replicate itself. You know, white people became up because of a curse. Biblically, yeah. You know, the curse of leprosy. Yeah, it was cast on Gehazi by Elijah, the prophet of God, of the God of Ethiopia. And he told him that his seed, his children forever, will have skin white as snow. And that's the lineage of my people, you know, on my father's side. The Gentiles, they white people, they the cursed generation. You know, and you kind of see anywhere the white side of my family went in the earth, they destroyed everything. They brought disease, they brought war, they conquer the people land, they take their resources, rape their children, you know, separate families, you know, and try to destroy their very existence as as ethnic groups, as as indigenous groups, people like were on the earth from creation. That's the white side of my family. Columbus, Queen Elizabeth. All the popes, because they all blessed their conquests. Alexander the Greek, Mussolini, Hitler. It's just a bunch of, you know, that's my side. And, you know, you have a whole race of black people in the West, in America, in all these islands. Don't know who they is. So there's Bahamian, Jamaican, and all these, and these black Africans, that these people... Mess up the minds of the people. Yeah, and even make... Black again, yeah, family is the white side of INA family, Europeans that bring the black side of my family. Down in the Western slavery, 400 years. Still today, ain't paying no compensation. Didn't return my black side of the family back to Africa. No official apologies. The white side of my family... You know, Queen Elizabeth's son, the you know, prince, whatever he is. He still think he ruling over black people. I don't know what happened in the past. But it sure as hell not going to happen in the future. Okay? Every leader. And I speak for the younger generation. I speak for the youths upcoming. We enter the crap. All that injustice and bigotry and war and strife and... No. You mess up the world. And leave us this? No. We cannot let them mess up the world any more than they already do it. So we need reparation for all these blacks. We need white people to stop walking around and say thinking they can push people around. Because you can pay for it. Well, it don't matter how long it takes. You're going to pay for what you do. Reparate black people. Repatriate black people. Stay in your white European corner. Let black men do what they are for doing in Africa. Stay out of their business. Mind your own judgment business. That's why Europe in so much devastation now. When you look uptown, when you look downtown, all around, flood, earthquakes, war, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till may God come for y'all. I'm not racist. I'm 
race conscious. Black again.